Welcome to the Landscape Game. This app takes you into the dynamics of land use competition, investment and policy measures, whilst teaching you how to sustainably manage a landscape. The game is played on a mosaic of various land cover and land use patches that work as an ecosystem and where governance is in place. Players have to manage their landscape while taking into consideration its ecological, social and economic functions. Three to five people can play this game, two to four players are land users and one person is the policy maker or government. Players can communicate with one another by writing messages on the game whiteboard. First, each player chooses from a list of landscapes. Next, each player rolls the dice to be placed around the landscape, which is divided into random patches numbered from 1 to 100. Players move from patch 1 towards patch 100. They decide together at the start how many times they all have to go around the landscape before the game can end. Each player starts with 100 points. On your turn, roll the three dice to move along the board. The maximum number of patches you can move in one go is 18. When you arrive at a land use patch, you can choose to make investments depending on where you've landed. Each investment must be paid for at the beginning, and if you have invested wisely, you can receive payments throughout the game. When making your investments, consider details such as asset value, selling price and environmental status. Will you protect your forests or cut them down to bankroll development? For example, if you invest in an ecotourism project, then you will receive a payment when another player lands on that patch. There are lots of different site-specific investments to be made, from oil palm plantations or Red Plus projects to rice paddies. For these types of investments, you will receive payment after completing a production cycle. Throughout the game, you can lobby the government to suggest subsidies, disincentives and income taxes for certain policies. What is more important to you, conservation or development? The government keeps a watchful eye on your choices and what impact they have on the surrounding landscape. They assess your progress and policies on factors such as carbon stock change, biodiversity, food products and impacts on local livelihoods. The government can respond to policy requests from land users, create or ban policies, deliver incentives and disincentives, or allow community taxes that apply to all players. All government policies will be displayed on the active policy board for players to follow if they choose. Throughout the game, the government may give awards to players who use sound environmental practices. At the end of the gameplay, the game tallies all players' cash and asset values to determine their productivity. The player who collects the most money, assets and awards wins. You are the master of your territory. How will you juggle conservation, sustainable development, businesses, environmental services, investment and trade, and social welfare. The choice is up to you.